Come join us at DNR Outdoors, where fishing with friends is exciting and always an adventure on the ice and open water as we go out and catch the biggest and nicest fish in and around Osseus and in the South Okanagan. With your host Daniel Holdebein and co-host Ryan Richter, this is DNR Outdoors. Hello everyone, we are super excited that you are joining us for this week's episode of DNR Outdoors. I'm your host Daniel Holderbein. Today, me and Rick are at Capula Lake and uh, Rick's got a fish on already, so I'm gonna put you on my head. Just had a bite. Did you? Yeah. I'm gonna get lost. Mine doesn't count. I didn't get it in. Lost one already. I was only halfway out in the line. It's not that deep. What do you got on? Copper fly. Like copper. Today might be a hold your reel day. Some good head, sh head, sh head shakes. So Rick, how you been? Haven't seen you for a while. I've been pretty good, enjoying life. Thinking about the next fishing trip, which we're on now. <laughs> been wanting to get to Kopula, waiting for the snow to melt. Looks good. Had one on, halfway to the boat. Good way to start the day. Yep. Slight breeze from the north, but uh, nothing we can't handle. They're calling uh, rain this afternoon and thunderstorms, so we'll see what happens here. Got some clouds to our south there, but uh, so far so good. We got uh, a cow on the mountainside there. That's a good sign. Always a good sign if there's cows. That means you'll get fish. Yeah. Pretty good size. Yeah. He's not from this way. You wanna keep that one? That's pretty decent. Sure. We don't have a stringer, but you got a bag? I do. Bang with that handle. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ja. Ja. The old school way, by hand. That's the best way to do it, folks. It's the most fun. Copper fly today. Might try some uh, green leeches later. Got some fight to him. There he is. Good old copper, never fails. Let's get back out there. Crime scene here. Sweet. Take some fish home. Haven't had fish since sockeye run. Yeah, waiting for the right moment. Uh oh, fish on. Ooh. Good pull. Right back there, too. Are you out? I'm out, yeah. I'm going to wind a bit of it in because I don't want to pull out on the floor. They fight hard till they get closer. I'll wind some in. That'll save a little more mess on the floor. Oh, it's lost. I feel it come off. Huh. Must have just had him in a tip of a lip or something. Look this, what's going on there? Here's my collection, folks. Those are the new flies. Red and orange bead head with uh, silver and white. Not sure what uh, we're calling them. Maybe we'll call them the white, the white dasher. Silver bullet. <laughs> we don't know what to call them. So for now we're just calling them the uh, silver and white fly. That works for me, I guess. Gary gets the name because he, he uh... Might go to a leech later, one of these guys here. Or up here, go to a black and red and blue leech copper, I mean uh, leech woolly bugger. But yeah, there's my new box, love it. I uh, retired my flight, my, uh, my tackle bin. Got this at Canadian Tire. All right, folks, we're gonna save some battery here. Be back when the next fish is on. So after we turn the camera off, Rick got another fish, it's in the cooler, another one on. No uh, rest for the weary here. 
I'm just oh. trying to sit here and relax. I just got a hit. Join myself and Daniel. We might have a double header. <laughs> got him. Double header. Yeah, double header. Let's see if we can. Uh... Okay, I'll try to keep him out there as long as possible. All I can do is turn this off and I won't have to fight the, the motor. That's funny. What's even funnier is when Gary and I were up here and the fish had both our flies in its mouth. Good head shakes. My guy's not ready to say uncle yet. No? How about you? Mine's under the boat. Mine's right there. I think. <laughs> yeah, right there. That's funny. They probably know each other. Probably. They're probably cousins or brothers or sisters. I see the same problem I do. Super bug. <laughs> Where are you? Right there. That's a nice one. Okay, I'll hold mine until you... Are you ready? I'll see if I can bring mine in. That's fun. <laughs> no, he's on. He's on? He's on. Another double header, folks. That one could probably go back. Yeah. Ooh. It's got some good head shakes. These are, these are definitely the spring ones, right? Yeah. We'll send him on his way. Catch him in the fall. About oh, 10 inches? 12? Yeah, probably 10, 12, yeah. Alright, we'll send you home, buddy. Rick's been getting some wild hits over there. And mine just took off. Still there? Yeah, he's still there. I think I'm going to change my fly to something different. Try something new for a while.
there. Yeah, he's going back. So the white fly, it's not named yet, so. Yeah, that's what they were hitting like crazy. And I had one big one on, but they're barbless, so you gotta play them a lot more carefully. Try that one with an orange bead head and silver body. So we'll tie this guy on and see who knocks at my door. All right, that's the one I present to you the white and silver fly. We'll see who, uh, we'll see who likes this one. Huh. Probably try, I don't know, one of these up here or one of those. I should try that one. Silver bead head with red, blue, and purple and black. Hmm. Yeah. You and me. Double trouble. Double trouble. This guy kind of hit hard. Mine's nearby. Now, I see a fish on the end there. Looks like my, well that's a nice one. Oh, I just lost mine. Now, that's no good, son. Just lost mine. This guy's got some good head shakes there, son. Now, who's going to knit this fish, me or you? I could do that with my left hand. That's not a bad one. That's a nice one. He's got, yeah, that's a nice one. I think I might keep this one there, son. Now, I'm going to grab my phone quick. Take a quick picture. I uh, switched up my uh, fly there, folks. Good old leech. Hey, calm down. You're going home with me. Nothing to worry about. You'll just see a frying pan later. Not a bad fish. What do you think? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Not too shabby. Clean off the net here for the next customer. I gotta be at 20 by now. Want him to feel at home when he dives in the net there. And uh, we're gonna get me back out on the water here. I can pull my line out that is, son. What you got on there right now? A leech? Green, Green leech. leech, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's always good. I can do that. Well, it's been a good day so far. Can't complain. Long ways to beat our 75 day. That was totally insane. Ten double headers. <laughs> wow. I call that a successful day. Whoa. Oh. Bite. Come on now. Yeah, I got a fish on, son. Look at go. that there. He's on there, son. Believe me, I gotta tell you right now, that is so much fun. You know, I do too. 
My line? I also have a fish. You do? Maybe. I also have a He's back there. I see him. I have a fish too. Okay. We've got a double header there, folks. Now the funny thing is, my fly was on the back of the boat. And uh, that was kind of funny, Shunny. Would have been sitting there for half an hour going, Why am I not catching nothing? Well, it's because my fly was inside the boat. Now, is this going to be a taker homer? Whoa. That was a nice jump. Jumping Yemeni. He jumped. Swedish? Yeah, he jumped. Yeah, he jumped. Oh, he. Is this gonna be a taker homer? I have a minnow. A minnow? I've got a dart on the end of mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes. Wait to go, thanks for the show. Oh, he's not too shabby. Not too shabby there, Sonny. Not too shabby, Abby. Hey. That's it. Hop right into that. <laughs> Joe Average. Off I go. Now, that deserves a picture. You're going to be famous there, fish. And uh, calm down. Come on now. The hook came off. Thank you very much. Oh, good. Here's a little guy who got off. I didn't want to handle him. I like it. I think that guy might be a caper. So I'm going to pull out my ice cools, my ice packs here. And... Uh, open my baggie here. Look at all those fish there, people. That's going to be one nice fillet later. We're just going to have a nice time here. I'm going to check my fly here in a second. But uh, the good old, good old leech is doing great there, son. We've got some Canadian geese fighting over there. Come on now. Get cooperate and get alone. Get out of here. The words an upheaval anyway, so just get alone. Even the birds can't get alone. Get out of this bay. Hey. Well, I'm gonna go here, put my fly back in the water. I'll be back with another fish on sh uh, soon here, son. Good old leech will never let you down. Ain't that right there, Mr. Captain? That is true, first mate. I'll swab the decks and get... I see why they call it the poop deck. We you sorry? Well, I think that was your fish. No, that was your fish. He dumped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, that was your fish on your my side fish, of the boat. My fish don't behave like that. No, that was your fish there, son. That was not acceptable of your fish. Now, let's try not to get the hook in the boat this time. Another fish, folks. This day's been great. Can't complain. We're somewhere north of 20. I'm getting a hit as we speak. Oh, mine's gone. You just left me. Gone? Going wet. Well, that's no good there, son. Folks, if you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe because you don't want to miss the next exciting episode of DNR Outdoors. Subscribe like if you want comment and do share our channel most appreciate also check out our facebook page i'll leave the link down below and uh, do sub uh, subscribe to our facebook page comment if you like and also share our facebook page
page channel as well. Now, on the other hand, Rick's got a fish on there. Yeah. So I'm going to do a, a good a good friend thing and grab the net for my buddy here because he can't do everything around here. As my grandmother said, fish in the nets were three in the bush. Something like that. Now, when's this fish going to come in? Today or next year? No. Whoa, what's the scoop on that deal? Oh, he's he's still in kindergarten, this guy. He's still in school, son? Hey, come on, I'm trying to get you back in the water. Don't come down now. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, if you like my southern accent, just comment down below what you think of it. Oh, oh, I got Moby Dick. Well, look at that. You might have another double header here. Well, that don't beat all. Come I'm on. I'm happy you'd be proud of me. Oh, another hit there, folks. Come on, son. You know you want to take it. Just take it, son. I'm waiting for you. You know, I see weeds down there. Come on. Don't be shy. Let's hit this bugger. Come on now. Okay, here we go. Come on now. Don't be shy. You still have that fish on there, son? Still there. Well, I'm waiting for mine. around, I don't know. You might have left it there now. I think I'll take my sunglasses off here, son. Set them on down there. Oh, did I feel a bite there? I might have, have had a bite there. Or a knock. Well. I'll put my rod down, and as soon as I do that, he's going to come back. You just watch now. It happens every time. Don't, don't doubt it, because it happens... Now, I'm going to help my my cat mouth here and get him the net. Because we got a fish coming in and it's, it's going to be a banner. You got nine in the fuller? I got nine. Might be a tanner, I don't know. A tanner? Or a bass. A bass? How about a, how about a E flat? What he do for E flat? E not flat, he's fat. That's one fat fish there, son. He just took off on you. Quit your belly aching. Come, come on, on now. In. Come on in. Do it a while. That might stay forever. Oh, he's pretty small, huh? We'll send him back home and he can grow up a bit more. Yeah, he's a little bit, a little bit of an amateur, that guy. Whoa. With a <laughs> flip of the tail. He gone. He gone there, son. He's gone for good. We'll say hi again next time. Probably in the, in the fall time, maybe. Well, folks, it's been a fine day. It's uh, 2.35. We're going to call it, I think, at 3 o'clock in case the, the tornado comes in. So uh, we're going to go here. Hope you're enjoying this episode because we sure are having a blast up here at Capula Lake. And uh, I think I might have felt a raindrop. Possibly. Or not. Alright folks. Rick's getting back out there. We shall return within a few seconds. Oh, <laughs> on the lake. Hello everyone. A little bit different ending here. But we hope you enjoyed this episode of DNR Outdoors. Me and Rick up at Kipula Lake. We caught 10 nice keepers and probably caught 20 to 25 altogether on the drop off. When we would speed up, we got hits. We got quite a few of those. We were using the copper fly, green leech, and a new fly, white and silver. I don't know the name of it yet, but uh, they all three worked and uh, 
We had a blast, Rick and I, catching fish. The fish were feisty, they were hungry. Me and Rick were just hanging out and having a good time and enjoying the day. It was supposed to rain, but uh, the weather forecast was wrong about that one. But um, as we were about an hour, the lake was dead calm. And then when we left, it was dead calm. But uh, that's how it works, right? When you're leaving, that's always how it works. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this episode. We sure did. I enjoy each episode of editing and putting it together for you guys and um, watching it come together. Also, very quick, um, we thank you. We don't say it enough, but we thank you to all of you for watching our channel, subscribing, liking, sharing uh, you, our YouTube channel, and liking, subscribing, and sharing our Facebook page. It means a lot. We thank you for your support. And uh, we are looking forward to the future and bringing more videos to you guys. We are excited for that. And uh, I think that's about it. The camera died on the last fish. I think I was hauling it in and the camera died. So uh, that footage is not in there. But um, I had a lot of footage of catches and funny parts. So I got some catches in there and funny parts and uh, me and Rick were being goofy so I hope you enjoy that and um, we will see you on the next DNR show um, we got a special episode coming um, soon that should be uploaded sometime next week we are super excited to share that with you and uh, hope you guys have a good day we will see you next time on the DNR outdoors show. Have a good day, y'all.